Hey everyone, I just want to say, before we get into this video, the fact that it's been 8 months since I've uploaded one of these is the fact that, as of recently, I haven't really been having submissions. So if you have any true stories or anything like that, send them over to my email, ghostymistofficial at gmail.com. Now into the video. When I was 10, I fell off my bike, which made me roll my ankle pretty badly. I needed to use a wheelchair because I wouldn't stop walking on it. My mother took me to the park to get some fresh air since I'd been cooped up inside ever since the incident. She sat me by a picnic bench and told me she was going to use the bathroom. She left as I just sat there. 10 minutes go by and this old man balding with a crusty looking beard sits next to me and tries to make small talk. I'm not answering him, so he gets up and I assumed he left. But soon, he gets up behind my wheelchair and begins to start rolling it. I look back and the man from before is pushing me. At this point, I didn't care how much pain I would go through, I had to get away from this creep. I get up and start limp running. I meet my mom halfway and tell her about the man. We go back to my wheelchair, which was left on its side, and we go home. Neither one of us ever saw the man again, or at least as far as we know. This was the creepiest birthday I've ever had. It makes me uneasy every time I think about it. I was at a pizza arcade place with my friends and their family. We were all running around playing games. When a clown came in through the doors and he started the usual clown tricks, the nose horn and the flower that sprays you with water. After those little tricks, the man comes up to me and tells me to come with him because he has a present for me in his van. Me being a little kid, I was excited. The man took me by the hand and simply just walked me to his van and tells me, jump in the back seat, the presence in the back seat, look in there deeper. As I got into the back seat, he slams the door shut and peels out onto the main road going about 90 miles an hour. He then says, you'll never see your mommy and daddy again. I flip out and start kicking his back seat, slamming against the door until the man stops the car abruptly and turns around to me and says, get the fuck out now. I did and he just left me in the middle of the road. I somehow managed to walk back to the arcade and my mother was worried sick and I told her what happened. The cops were called, but they never caught the guy. I was walking home one late night. I step in my house and immediately something felt off. I put my keys down on the counter and begin looking around, when all of a sudden I hear a loud thud upstairs near my bedroom. I crept upstairs and peered down the hallway. There was a shadow at the other end of the hallway closing my door. I ran downstairs, grabbed my phone and my keys, drove down the street and called the police. They never caught the guy and I've since moved out of that house. So this happened about three to four years ago, I'm not necessarily sure when, but I was trying to fall asleep when I heard my bedroom door creak open, and an older short woman came hobbling in. I was a little shaken and all I wanted to do was jump up and scream, but I realized I couldn't move any of my body parts. The only thing I could move was my eyes. The older woman disappeared from my line of vision but I knew she was still in the room. She was in the blind spot next to the bed. That's when she hopped up right on top of me. Her face was dripping blood, and it was as if she was decomposing in front of my eyes. I was then able to move. I ran out of my house in a dead sprint to my friend's house. 
She said that I might have experienced sleep paralysis for the first time. I hope she was right. I truly hope that old woman was all in my head and not just a crazy demon working in the shadows.